there are strategic, diplomatic, and economic incentives that come into play. Characterization of this is that public officials are currently operating in an interconnected global environment. The current arena has technology, transport, and developed infrastructure that allows various nations to actually interact and interconnect. We cannot live as an island. Diplomatic ple pleasantries, rather, can lead to tangible economic effects. What do I mean by this? Direct negotiations and personal interactions leads to a certain state where remote communication cannot achieve. This leads to trust and capacity building between various officials from various different countries. And when we get that, we get more bilateral agreements coming to Kenya. We get more foreign investments and more diplomatic relations enhanced. Consider trade missions where officials will go and negotiate, negotiate for open markets, right, for national business. The initial expenditure that we get, yes, is going to be considered maybe excessive if people need to travel. But the overturn of this comes back tenfold because we have attracted investments, we have opened markets, we have lessened the toll that some Kenyans pay to pay for certain ventures. And therefore, as a whole, the government has a greater capacity to care for its people. Remember, they say that you need to take care of your people. But right now, as they have said with their own words, they don't have the money to do so. 1.9 million people in Kenya currently are living below the poverty line and need a certain form of help from the government that they are not receiving because we do not have that money. So in their world, they still won't receive that help anyway. At least from these travels and these visits, we attract some form of investment that allows the government to help these 1.9 million people, to help these capacities and help improve infrastructure. Right. We need to understand that professional development and knowledge ex exchange is important. We bite the bullet by saying that, yes, some of these public funds will be used to, to fund these travels, and they may have been used in other sectors like food and security and what have you. But that continuous professional development of public officials is crucial for effective governance. The people who are leading the country need to have a certain form of knowledge, a certain form of vigor, a certain form of wit that you are going to get from those benchmarking visits where you look at countries that are performing at a better level than you and seeing how you can apply it to your own country. 